So this is what happens and what it looks like when you're getting ready to go on a trip. Passport, camera gear, batteries, equipment, laptop, carry-on luggage. So I am packing up and getting ready to head to Mexico, going to Baja. So here's a piece of advice. If you want to plan a fishing trip with your buddies, here's what you need to do. Number one, go to a warm place, preferably one with a beach. Number two, invite your wife or your girlfriend. That is the tip of the day. I have never saltwater fished for anything with a fly rod, so I had to get myself a little bit of some gear. So I'm gonna open this up. And then uh, a couple little Yeti boxes just showed up. So this is a Panga 50. I'm gonna take this on the airplane with me. I'm actually gonna make my wife carry it. So when I get to Mexico and I go on the boat or we're running around on the beach, I can take that with me. These Pangas are completely submersible, 100% waterproof. Got some of the Rio leaders happening. A little of this, a little of that. There's my line, my fly line. Got the new Sage Spectrum. Dang, that thing looks sweet. So this is gonna be, I got myself a nine weight rod. So nine weight rod, nine weight reel. Fish in the species we're gonna be targeting. Number one on the list by far and away rooster fish. Uh, none of us have caught one, I don't think on the fly, but I could be wrong. Tony and Chael and Shoemaker have all spent quite a bit of time saltwater fishing, but this is gonna be my first time chasing anything in the salt with fly tackle. I can't even imagine how they would just destroy you on a fly rod, but that is the goal. So I'm gonna keep getting packed. We're gonna take you along on this from the travel till when we hit the beach. Winter is here, guys. Full on blizzard out there. Flight was delayed a little bit, but luckily we're here. Say hi, babe. My wife, Corey. The storm blew in, but we are on our way to Cabo, so we will see you in Mexico. What a day, what a day. We thought we were leaving on time, and then the snow just kept falling, and they got backed up on the de-icer, so we sat around for another two and a half hours. Our bags made it, though. That's a plus. We can at least say we made it safely. It was a long day of travel, but we got here. We rented an Airbnb. We are north of Cabo San Lucas. The town is called El Pasquerero, which is just a little bit south of Todos Santos. We are going to meet up with the boys. Mr. Shoemaker, say hello to the crowd. Hello, crowd. Look at that, that's a spear gun, guys. I would, I gun hope spear, the- Gun spear, surf rod. Surf rod. Check. Um, mustache. Mexico mustache. Check. Also check. Very Wine beach shirt. festive shirt. Check. We've got all the necessities. So we're gonna go meet up with Tony and Chael, try fishing a little, uh, a little local spot. Supposedly, we might be able to catch some fish right off the beach. But anyways, there's the casa. My wife has been battling an illness. She's hanging back. Shoemaker's wife is also hanging back. The weather is pretty nice. It's nice enough to give me a very white guy, a bit of a burn, just from sitting out at lunch. In 15 minutes. <laughs> in about five minutes. <laughs> That's what happens when you live in Utah. You uh, you get burned quick. Not gonna be prime time rooster fishing, but that's what we're targeting. And then what are the other ones that we're gonna possibly be able to catch? We got Sierras, Sierra mackerel, and uh, yellowtail is kind of what's around right now. We're just in the turnover season before the warmer water fish come in. But this is peak Hamachi, which is hopefully what we can get off of the Lots of stuff to possibly catch, maybe even a, a lone stray Gerardo or two. But check it out, this is kind of the type of country. Lots of saguaro cactuses. It, it, Eric and I were talking, if you've ever been to like the Scottsdale, Arizona area, it kind of looks like Scottsdale. Um, it's like Scottsdale with two oceans. With, yeah, it's awesome. Every time with Shoemaker. It's literally inevitable. What are you even talking about? I said shoe. Keep the momentum up. There's our destination on the horizon. Our friends are there. This Volkswagen evidently does not have all wheel drive. And so we're buried. This is where we park. Get your stuff. Luckily our buddy has a tow strap and a, and a Land Rover and he can help get us out of this conundrum. I blame Shoemaker 100%. I told you we're not, we shouldn't go down there. I said that. I distinctly remember saying 
that's probably not where we should go. So yeah, pretty standard. Pretty standard. Pretty standard way to start things out in Mexico. Buried. Stand on the rear bumper and officially I'm gonna try to get this car pulled out. He's got the uh, Land Rover set up. Shouldn't be too bad. Beautiful place down here. This is like a private beach where a lot of the locals come to fish at night. Pete's got all the tools necessary. Sand shovel. These bad boys. Got him tied up. There's the tie off. Just some paracord. Let's see how this works. Let's see how it goes. Less throttle, shoot. Just like nurse it. Executed to perfection. Sure makes getting unstuck a lot easier when you have the right tools. Fun day so far. As far as the counts go, I don't know how Shoemaker and Tony are doing, but Tony took the GoPro, so we'll have some good underwater action cameras happening for you guys as they are hunting with their spears. Nothing so far with the surf rod. Really cool spot. Nobody's around us, just a few locals and their families that are fishing. Beautiful sunny day. I know that Eric and Tony are seeing a ton of stuff underwater, so I'm excited to see what the footage is. Uh, uh, pretty much the first time you guys will see it is the first time I'm gonna see it. So hopefully Tony and Shoemaker can spear a fish. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go over that way. Yeah, it's just a nice tool. Or Leatherman over there. Little guy, but hey, that's cool. Oh, you can't even hold him. Dude, he's all spiny. Not holding that thing. That was cool. Yeah. Put my flies all mangled. She was chasing that thing forever. Talk to me. Well, I shot at one fish and I missed. And so far, that's the story. A lot of reef fish, not a lot of game fish. One medium-sized Kubera snapper, probably 24 inches long. Kubera, that's what he shot at. That's yep. what he shot at, right? Saw some ladyfish. A lot of like sergeant majors and big reef fish, <laughs> but not edible. I'm surprised we didn't see a pair of fish. I, I saw a pair of fish. Did you? Yeah, I saw a couple. I've seen some big ones down here, big turds. Um, yeah. It's pretty uh, murky, actually. It, it is. It's it really turned up. It's a wrap on the beach day. We're gonna have a more productive fishing sequence here coming up in the next couple days. Let me tell you, this is a sand machine right here, this Lexus. Pete's rig is the ultimate sand setup. That thing is amazing. 